And now, broadcasting from the Ginger and Baker studio in the heart of the music district in beautiful Old Town, Fort Collins, Colorado. It's live at lunch here on KRFC 88.9 FM, streaming live at krfcfm.org. Today is a special uh, musical uh, excursion today as we have two special guest artists. And we're going to start out today with John Craigie. In your days Out on the prairie Trying to disprove The Virgin Mary Wondering to God If you had ever been born I was tired faith to the west coast Just as lonely As the next ghost Singing my song To an empty shore Oh Love like lightning You don't have to whisper if it's the truth Oh We won't live again But she'll remember me I was good to you Oh babe I was good to you Tell your friends how you were burned by me. Teach your new man all you learned from me. Like a stray dog, brought in cause he's warm. Oh, you look at a painting. You don't think about what the last stroke was. Oh, but the pain to grow and the pain to know what the last stroke was. Oh, John Craigie here on KRFC's Live at Lunch. John, it's good to have you back. It's, it's good been to be back. a little Thank while. You. Yeah, yeah. yeah I just think December of 2021 was the last time we had a chance to have you in, and thanks for dropping in. I know you're a busy guy. Ending up a tour here almost uh, here in Colorado. Yeah, this is the end. For the season, then you get to actually relax for the holidays a little bit. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Um, got a brand new album, Pagan Church, coming out here in January. And uh, you were working with some friends, TK and the uh, Holy Know Nothings, yeah. um, on the album. A little bit different little, uh, sound on, on the new album here, which it, it sounds great to me, everything I've heard so far. By the way, uh, Good to You yeah. is uh, on the new album, right? And, totally. And uh, that was beautiful. Um, tell us a little bit about the new album. Yeah, I met those guys. Uh, I had written this song called Lori Rolled Me a J back in 2021. And, uh, was that a friend of yours? Uh, yeah, that's yeah. actually uh, Laurie Shook of the Shook Twins. Oh, know? okay, yeah. And she's a dear friend. And yeah, we've had that man before. Uh, she um, was living nearby. She would bring me some uh, stuff to yeah. me. <laughs> yeah. She rolls better than me. You know? <laughs> but I've written that song, and I, it had an energy to it that I wanted to um, bring a band to. So 
they were doing some shows. This was like, you know, right after uh, lockdown. So there was, they had like a little residency at an outdoor place. And they asked me to come by and do a few tunes. And I taught them that song. And it, had, it felt great with those guys. Mm -hmm. I had played with a lot of them before. Two of them are in fruition and they'd back me up on. Oh, you know, I didn't realize they're in fruition too. Yeah, T. Tom, the drummer, and Jacob, the guitarist. Louis and Sid, their uh, keyboardist, had uh, been played with Shook Twins. And uh, there's a lot of, it's all family out there, you know. That that song did well. We recorded that song. You've got and a lot of musical buddies there in the Portland area yeah, that you that, that you do stuff. Yeah, is it a good musical scene? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's why I moved there. Yeah. Anyway, they uh, they had a studio and they said, "Let's. Uh, you got any other songs?" And I said, "Yeah." So we made that record pretty quick. And those guys, they rock, you know. So sometimes I tried to rein it in, you know, a little. Yeah. <laughs> and then oh. sometimes I let them, I let them go, you know, and. It was, it's, it was, it's a fun project. I, I well, like. While I'm Down, another tune off that new album, that, when you say it rocks a little bit, that, that does a rock a little bit more than what you've been doing. So yeah, I, way more. Yeah, yeah I appreciate totally. that. It's really good. And um, I was going to ask you here, too, while I have you, I, I saw, are you working on a movie? Uh, no, I don't know where you saw that, but that's it's, it's cool. on your uh, it's yeah, it's on the website. It says that she was like some live conscious stuff. You'd, supposedly, you were working on some, some movies. Uh, I have done some. Oh, I lost my monitor. I don't know if that's... And, uh, that's that's okay. They it's fine. Usually yeah. shut those off. Or oh, good, good. Um, yes. Uh, well, I've done a few songs that have been in movies, and mm -hmm. uh, this guy Rush Sturgis. Maybe that's what they're referring to. He's a he's a kayaker, but he also does a lot of environmental stuff. And they used my song "Virgin Guitar" on his. Uh, it's on Netflix. It's called "The River Runner." It's a great documentary about a kayaker. And, oh, okay. But I'll have to ask Phil. Maybe yeah, he, maybe, maybe I am working the on the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. But that's what, yeah, it made it look like you're doing a, a movie, maybe a concert movie or something. Oh, yeah, you know, I think uh, that's something I'd like to do. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, it, that's definitely in the future at some yeah. point, I'm sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, you've got enough music to do it. How many albums do you have out? Like 11 or you've 11 releases? Ooh, that's a great question. Yeah, it's, I've got some live ones and some studio ones. Did some work with um, Jack Johnson? Yeah, 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 that was wonderful. Jack's How, a great guy. He had heard... Uh, one of my live records. He really likes that kind of. Um, he's a big fan of like Greg Brown and uh, Todd Snyder and those guys. And um, someone had just given him my live record, and he just called me up. And oh, we I, I had a show out in Oahu where he lives, and he came out and we played together. He's very. He's a really sweet guy. He really listens to a lot of music and a lot of indie music. He really cares, and he will go and seek the people out and. Then he was very kind. He offered me a bunch of shows on that summer tour. That was 2017. So I went out with him and his his crew. We did a bunch of West Coast dates. It was oh, well. excellent. Yeah. Still keep contact with him? Yeah, we were just talking the other day. He's uh, He put out a record last year that I thought was fantastic. He had uh, Blake Mills was the producer. And um, and he's doing, yeah, he's doing great. Excellent. Well, I'm excited for the new album coming out in January. And... Um, what would you say is the best place for people to get information on you as far as your upcoming tour? I know you're going to be touring Europe early next year, and uh, so information on uh, people listening online or whatever. Yeah, you just Google whatever it's you're looking for. If you're looking for the tour dates, um, that's on my website. And, and that is? Uh, JohnCraigieMusic.com. There you go. And then there's uh, any streaming service. You know, It's got all the, the tunes on it. Yeah. Excellent tunes. We'll be... Right back here with a full band behind John in just a moment. Welcome back to Live at Lunch here on KRFC 88.9 FM. And now we have John Craigie with full band. One, two, three. Today, all them icicles are dripping away one by one, one by one, I watch them die. The earth shows no mercy, everything needs to drain. I ain't never been this thirsty in my life. All the rain in my windows open wide I got no one on my mind Come on in, love me you while I'm down I ain't the best 
this one is true I'm just trying to say something new Try not to sound like every other man I ain't done your drugs in a while But I'm down to match your smile I just write it out Honey, you know how I am Sometimes she comes around and my windows open wide I got no one on my mind Come on in, love me while I'm down Drops, but I got no hurts to swim. I've been braving all the winners. I've been trying to save the sinners, but I keep on forgetting exactly what the sinners did. Out here it's a Costco of men. Why you chose me, I never understand. Whatever it takes to kick the darkness out.
John Craigie here on KRFC's Live at Lunch. And those last two were uh, While I'm Down and Where It's From. And uh, those are both from John's brand new album coming out in January, Pagan Church. Thanks so much for your time today. I know you're busy mm -hmm. doing some seminars, doing some shows and then tonight and the next couple days. And uh, you know, you're welcome anytime you're coming through Fort Collins. But Thanks, man. And anything you'd like to add, to mention uh, that got going on here? No, that's good. Yeah, I checked out the website for whatever you need, and uh, I'll see you soon. Okay, thanks. And next up, we'll be bringing you Madeline Hawthorne Band. Welcome back to this special Live at Lunch here on KRFC 88.9 FM, streaming live at krfcfm.org. I'm proud to bring uh, today's special guest, Madeline Hawthorne, in with her full band. And real quick, I'm going to make sure I get everybody in here. Taylor Sims on guitar, Taylor Tesler on bass, and Sean McCulloch on drums.
I've been stumbling Lost the finish line Been running so long That I forgot why Oh, I need a drink A moment to think Where did I go wrong? House is crumbling For the sake of a song, oh, I need a drink, a moment to think, where did I go wrong? Find my way at the bottom of a bottle. Madeline Hawthorne here on KRFC's Live at Lunch. Madeline, let's talk a little bit. Um, you grew up in uh, New England area? I did, yep. yeah. What, what part? I was born in Massachusetts, born okay. in Boston. Uh, and then I moved to New Hampshire when I was about nine. And uh, well, I guess, yeah, lived there till I was 18. All and right. I came out west. All right, but you picked up the guitar around 16. Yes, that's yeah. right. That's the first time I got a guitar. And your parents were kind of musical. That's they, right. They influenced you? They did. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Sure, yeah. Um, I grew up in a classical family. My mom was a Baroque uh, soprano soloist, did a lot of um, work with the Handel and Haydn Society um, and Boston Baroque. So I grew up um, in that world, which I think influences um, mm. some of the way I write now, even though I, I play very different music it still influences the way I sing and um the way I think about writing songs and um and then my dad was uh he was at Berkeley for jazz guitar and then switched over to to classical music and that's when he met my mom so just uh yeah musical family was he your first uh guitar teacher yeah he was and yeah. before I ever had a guitar he always got his uh classical guitar out and he would play James Taylor songs for the family and um, so he's my first inspiration for, for playing guitar, for but sure. But you were in a choir first, right? Yeah, sang first. Yeah. Choir from, I don't know, since I can remember. Uh, we were in a religious family, but we still sang in, in church choirs, and um, that's where I learned how to harmonize, I'm sure. So then you uh, found your way out to Montana following love? And I followed a boy. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> it wasn't a bad decision either. We're uh, still together. Okay, so. well, that's yeah, good. Yeah, it all worked Your, your out. husband. Okay. Yes. Wonderful. Yep, that's right. So why Montana? Um, well, because of the boy, yeah. pretty much. What's he do? Um, oh, he's in the music world now. He, uh, mm. He's got a ticketing company. We love music. Um, our first date was a Leonard Skinner Doobie Brothers concert uh, back in New Hampshire. And uh, we both wanted to go out west. We both just had, um, uh, we just both wanted to, to get out of our small towns, go out west, go somewhere new. And 
um, try out the mountains out there. So, yeah, we've been skiing and mountain biking the mountains ever since. How'd you find your way down to the Fort Collins area? Because I know you've gone touring through here about three or four times now in yeah. the last couple of years. I guess in a different way, I followed boys, including <laughs> these, like pretty much these guys. <laughs> I pretty much followed these guys here. Um, uh, this this wonderful band that I'm playing with, they're all from this area. And so um, I've been coming down here for a few years and, and working with them. And uh, we have a blast down here. And then I bring them up to Montana and we have a blast up there as well. So um, just you find good people and, and you follow them where they are and ask if they'll have you. And if they do, don't Stick let them go. Them. Uh, are you going to be touring at all on January and beyond? Yes. Um, we'll be doing lots of touring, actually. Yeah. Um, we will be in Colorado for the Winter Wondergrass Music Festival in March. Mm -hmm. And we have some other Colorado shows that I can't talk about yet, but uh, stay tuned. We should have some more exciting Work shows coming up. You're working on a new album? Yes, I am. Um, and we're playing songs off of that album that we're going to be releasing uh, sometime in 2024, TBD. TBD. And that, that's the same with the name, To Be Determined, right? I, yeah, it'll come to me when, when someone forces me to decide what the name of the album is, I'll pick one. But I, I don't <laughs> like naming albums, so I'm putting it off until the last minute. Maybe just name it TBD. Yeah, could be. There you go. <laughs> All could right. be TBD. We'll see. <laughs> Well, um, let's uh, let's talk a little bit with the rest of the band members too here, and uh, I guess I'll start out with uh, Taylor Sims. You know, Taylor, how you doing? Great. Uh, you you're a busy guy. Uh, you're doing uh, you know, of course, backup playing with people, doing your own career too with uh, your wife and musical partner Bonnie yep. uh, Sims, and of course she's busy with uh, her own band and stuff too. Yep. I don't know how you guys ever find time together, but well. If you if you figure it out, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's uh, you know it's been a busy it's been a busy time, and we're r really grateful to get to play with so many great people and uh, get to play so much great music. Well, and just as a solo artist uh, with with Bonnie, uh, everybody loves an outlaw. Yeah, received a gold record. Yeah, and yeah. that's something to be proud of. Yeah, how'd that all happen and come about? Where'd you record it? And just tell uh, us about it. Well, we recorded uh, the song that um, that went gold. Uh, we recorded it in 2018 as um, just another one-off project that we, you know, another line in the water. Mm -hmm. We didn't know what it would do or had any any hopes that it would do what it did. Not to be included in an album or anything. No, it was just on? it was for sync licensing. So it was a project ah. that was um, mm -hmm. that was made for uh, television and movies and stuff. And so after you record that stuff, you just place it in a library, and then it's kind of at the discretion of music directors and uh, music supervisors that are on those various TV shows and whatever. So, right. um, and so it happened to get picked up in, uh, in a movie um, that uh, did really well. It was a Polish movie, it did really well over there. And then it got picked up by, by Netflix. And so that song being in it, um, the movie was, uh, was number one, um, the, the, the number one movie on Netflix in 2020. So then the song also got some legs out of that. And then because of that, the song did really well Went went bigger than the movie and has just <laughs> continued to grow, and uh, and yeah, now you're you know, trying to figure out how do I keep doing that, huh? Oh, absolutely, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, and that's what everybody else wants too. They're like, oh, you can you, you did, write one you for did, me? You did great. That was that was awesome. Now do it again. Yeah, you know. So, uh, but but absolutely. we're you know we're um, we're very grateful for that. It was just sort of a chance partnership with um with our now uh, partner, this guy Robbie Neville. Who's uh, based out of L.A. and um, not not associated with the Neville Brothers, right? No, now. but uh, he did have his he, he he had his own solo career. He was back in the in the time of, you know, Millie Vanilli and Michael Jackson, and he was he, he had a, he had a big hit in 1984 called "Say La Vie." And, oh, I remember uh, that. Yeah. And so, but but now he's in the sync licensing world, and uh, we were we were lucky to get hooked up with him, and yeah, and then the song song did really well, and. Uh, and it's still still out there, still going strong. Did he produce your last Bonnie and Taylor Sims album? No, just no, he did not. That one was self produced. Okay. Yeah. Are you guys working on anything new? Yeah. Well, we just we we just released uh, the the Bonnie and Taylor Sims album and great uh, album. Thank you. And and so as, <laughs> as soon as that cycle's over, it's like all right, get to get to work, start writing again. <laughs> so so yeah, so we're uh, we're 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 back in the back. Back to the drawing board and going to write some new music and hopefully have something else out uh, in the coming years or decades or days or who knows. <laughs> Knock on wood. <laughs> TBD. Yeah. All right. And Lots well, of TBD. Thanks, Taylor. Yeah. And Sean, Macaulay, you're, 
you, uh, you, you're you a multiple musician here, too. Didn't you recently have a child? I got a little baby boy. Yeah, there you home. go. Well, congrats little on one-year-old that. one-year-old Hendrix. Oh, yeah. that's right. Hendrix. Huh? Hendrix. What yeah, a wonderful yeah. name. So he keeps me, me on my toes, um, as well as all the musical friends and, and all that going on. So, mm-hmm. yeah, my plate is full right now. And, and so who else heart. are you playing with these days? <laughs> Um, yeah, so I, name I a few? play with a, yeah, a bunch of local bands that we would know, um, Violet Pilot, mm-hmm. local band Windy Woo, um, do some stuff with um, uh, just all kinds of you know, freelance work uh-huh. whenever I can get it. So, yeah. Are you uh, work with anybody recording anything these days? Well, I'm going to be on the next record that uh-huh. we're doing here. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, no recording sessions in the near future, but mm-hmm. that's my happy place, the recording uh-huh. studio. So. And um, I'm trying to remember, where did you originally come from? I came from L.A. Los yeah. Angeles. Moved out here. I was touring through the area. Um, wow, it's been 11 years. Mm-hmm. Holy moly. <laughs> what made you stay? Um, well, many things. The music community is amazing. Mm-hmm. But I met the love of my life, who mm-hmm. I have a child with now. And so um, we're just, yeah, happy. We. Uh, if you would have told me when I was living in L.A. that I'd get married, have a kid, and move to the town of Loveland, I would have <laughs> said, you're crazy. You know, it's somebody else's life. So A little bit cleaner air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyways, yeah. <laughs> Lots of good reasons. Well, I just wanted to give a shout out. Like I said, I'm sure you're proud of your, your, your new child. And you don't always get a chance to put it on video and well um glad you're here today and um you know of course uh, right next to you too, you know taylor back there in the in the corner he uh you're you're one of those multi-band member members too i am yeah and uh, aren't you from uh, the new york area? i'm from rochester new rochester york. new york that's right uh-huh you should know that by now yeah i know so so i thought so for sure it's just <laughs> i'm trying to remember it's been <laughs> so many times and um you're, why don't you fill us in again with uh, all the bands that you're playing with earlier? They say give shout outs. Um, well, like we discussed earlier, I think there's four main ones. This one, of course, uh-huh. uh, the Patty Fiasco. Mm-hmm. We played KRFC fundraiser the other day. It was pretty pretty great. And it turned out really nice. Uh, West Side Joe and the Men of Soul. Yeah, which is another great band. Great great band, great musicians. And then uh, Ansel and the Brain Tattoos. Oh, that's right. I forgot it's about kind that. kind of a new, kind of bluegrassy, yeah. jammy band. I get to play upright uh-huh. bass in that one. And three-part harmonies that's really fun helping out with a motown review and some other stuff yeah help out with a bunch of other people too on call for for people and do what i can i've got my own family too so i've got three kids shout out to all my kids how old are they hey uh seven nine and 17 wow yeah so you started early yeah yeah busy busy (laughs) and i got a job and i got a Another job too, and, <laughs> and we'll get you out to that job real soon. Late for work right now. <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Okay, well, let's let's get back <laughs> into Thanks, it. Taylor. You're going to do a couple more for us: uh, yeah. Neon Wasteland and Cold Shoulder. That's right. And do you want to give us a little background on each? Uh, sure. Neon Wasteland is uh, my brand new single that's out um, from this new record, and uh, I wrote that song. I was working on it for a while, and I, I finished it after I took a trip to Nashville and um, came home from that trip, and I was so happy to be home, and I realized that uh, I really felt like a fish out of water just out of the Mountain West and out of New England. It's just a whole different world out there that I'm learning about and really loving, and um, since then I've met some really lovely people. Uh, but I wrote this song about... Um, someone who's chasing her dream and and living in a town like Nashville and things just aren't turning out the way that she hoped that they would. So, Neon Wasteland. Let's hit it. She pries open eyes, heavy bones, tired mind. Dead weight, sleep deprived I work three jobs, got no time Picks up a picture From not so long ago Looking at a girl She don't even know Everything is being a dad Oh, the truth. 
trees, quiet nights, gentle breeze. Now it's bright lights, busy days, always moving, always working late. Friends back home, they're getting hitched, having kids. I said you needed more, didn't picture this. Disappears without a goodbye Up to her ears in his past due bills Written in the name Got no one to blame Saturday She's going to the river To wash some blues away Opens the door to her dismay My tires flying to rust a Chevrolet Yeah She don't cry, she don't pray
Madeline Hawthorne here on KRC's Live at Lunch. Madeline, what's the best place for people to get information on upcoming shows, uh, get your music, things like that? Sure, they can just head to my website, MadelineHawthorne.com. Yeah, it's That's all easy there. easy enough. Wonderful. Yeah. And um, before I uh, get too far out here, I wanted to make sure and thank today's crew, who's done a pretty good job with audio and video, as always. Greg Duras, Colton Benning, and Omer Israel on the audio today, and of course Eric Delano and Dan Perez on the video. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys. Wonderful. Thank you. Guys. We are uh, going to take a short break, and we'll be right back with Madeline Hawthorne, and uh, she's going to be doing some solo music for us here on KRC's Live at Lunch. <laughs> I regret some things I'd done Things I did when I was young Dealing out the pain I'd given Broken heart merely driven By fear of loss Of being alone I regret some things I said Things I said when I saw red Blazing eyes, third degree Fire grounds in a killing spree Then came to Thoughtless words cloud my waking dreams Cause I confuse brains with being mean Shame takes a toll on the road of lies Hit the brakes cause you can't press rewind Trying hard to make things right Fight the urge to just sit by Let regret wash over me Drown me in the memories Can't take it back Thoughtless words cloud my waking dreams Cause I confuse strength with being mean Shame takes a toll on the road of lies Hit the brakes cause you can't press rewind Oh, Being strong ain't the same as being mean Building walls doesn't make a queen It only traps her in her mind wishing she could press rewind ooh, 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 ooh. I regret some things I've done Things I did when I was young Dealing out the pain I've given Fears a road I have driven All right, that was my song called The Toll off of my record Boots. And uh, now I'm gonna play a brand new song off my upcoming record and it's called Night Ride. Roll me, roll me. Roll me up like a joint and smoke me, smoke me Breathe me in like the air and hold me, hold me Hold me in so that you can show me, show me Show me how to let go me in like the sky and feel me, feel me, feel me just like the ground beneath you, beneath you, hey do you feel alive like I do, I do, yeah I feel alive. Here 
hear me just like the wind that's singing, singing, singing just outside our window, window. Hey, let's roll them down. Hey, let's roll them down. Hey, let's roll them down. I just want to hide away tonight. Touch me like I know I can taste you, taste you. Hey, do you feel alive? Hey, do you feel alive? Like a joint in a breathing in like the end Hold me in so you can show me how to let go Thank you for listening to Live at Lunch, and thank you to the Music District here in the heart of Fort Collins, Colorado. Live at Lunch is produced by KRFC 88.9 FM in the Ginger and Baker studio. If you'd like to appear on Live at Lunch, email our music director, David Vosick, at david at krfcfm.org.